Are you guys on a date? Oh, you haven't talked about her yet? I love this. It just got real awkward. I'm usually like you. I never know if I'm on a date. I never know what to wear, which is why I usually just throw on a wedding dress and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm single. I see, I feel like you guys, are, some of you are single. You made a lot of noise in the beginning there. We do that in public as single ladies. Like we make a lot of noise. Like we make everyone think that we're very okay with being alone in public. We're like, yeah, man, I don't need no man. I'm independent. I listen to Beyonce and shit. <laughs> On the inside, we are one Adele song away from just losing our shit, folks. <laughs> just like emotionally eating the f out of some guacamole. <laughs> or some Krispy Kreme. Oh my God. I should not be allowed within 50 feet of a Krispy Kreme for any reason. Like donuts should really be called do nots for me. Cause when that hot, <laughs> when that hot donut sign comes on, that's like the bat signal for me, folks. Like, I am in my car and they're lickety split. I was there last Friday night, because I'm single, and um, I order four donuts, and the woman's like, are you sure you don't make that a dozen? And I'm just like, from four, really? Uh -huh. Like, that's eight additional donuts, ma'am. That's literally triple my order, number one. Number two, you can see I'm alone, it's Friday night, you hear the Celine Dion, bitch, don't kick me when I'm down. <laughs> but I will take two more crullers. <laughs> it, give me the dozen. Kathy, you know me. <laughs> Just box up the huge. The diet starts tomorrow. So we do as girls, right? We make up all these weird caloric justifications in our head. Like, oh yeah, I can eat this entire sheet cake right now. I'll just suck on ice cubes till the end of time. <laughs> that or we work out like crazy people. I work out so intensely, I recently had a guy come up to me at the gym and ask me if I was training for an event. I was like, yeah, Cheesecake Factory 2014. <laughs> I work out so intensely, I had an injury recently, I had to go to physical therapy, and my physical therapist was telling me about how I have this misalignment in my hips and how to properly get in and out of bed to help fix the problem. So she's like, so when you're getting into your bed, just scoot your significant other over to the other side. And I was like, whoa, 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 ma'am. Um, how large do you think my vibrator is? I mean. <laughs> is anyone doing a booty call later tonight? Maybe that's what this situation is here. <laughs> Woo, I love it. You guys see Vegas is into it. Most people are like afraid to admit that. Like I'm down with a good booty call. I love that shit. I love the bullshit leading up to the booty call. Right, like the let's get together and watch a movie at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I find that the music that one plays during a booty call is very indicative as to how it's gonna go, you know? Like if the person turns on Usher, this is gonna be some sweet lovemaking. It's gonna be very sensual and hot. But if they turn on Lil' Kim, you're about to get straight f people. <laughs> like this is the queen bee, she's not f***ing around. Even her clean lyrics are filthy. But if they turn on like Sade or Coldplay or something of this nature, you need to leave immediately, all right? This is not a booty call. This person has an intense emotional connection to you. You need to piece the f out, guys. 